I'm fingers crossed for this 5G signal. Let's keep it running. But welcome in, people. Hope you're good. So, thank you. I guess that was Sue turning on the slow mo. Appreciate you. Now, welcome in, Mike. Hey, good to see you, dude. How are you? How are you doing today? How's everyone's week begun? Let me post that we're actually live. There we go. So tonight is actually an unusual one. I think it's only the second time we've ever had more than one Pokemon featured in a spot hour. So it's going to be a good one to grind, actually. I think it's got catch XP as the bonus, which is no bad. There's a lot of XP perks flying around for this month. We had this in Com Day. And we've, well, I imagine in five minutes' time they'll post the official announcement for Bagon Community Day Classic, uh, April the 7th, that's a Sunday. That's pretty much being confirmed, thanks to the folks at uh, GoHub and Leak Duck, etc., pushing the info. And we also had a teaser trailer. I mean, come on. Teaser trailer. Oh, speaking of um, dragons. Dragons. In we go. Uh, we have a Dragon Grunt, which is either going to be Gibble, which is epic, Shadow Shiny Potential Dratini, which is epic, and... Uh... My Dialga might be dead. Let me quickly revive it. Sammy, good to see you. Andrew, hey, lovely to see you, dude. Again, I said it on social media, and I'll say it in the video on Thursday, but thank you very, honestly, very, very, very much for gifting me the super expensive Zaru ticket. Appreciate you. Uh, Mag Floof, good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day and week. Molly, welcome in. Lovely to see you, as always. And Jasmine, welcome in, too. Let me get the enamorous buddy in. So, Volpix, Poliwag, Hippopotas, and Snorunt. Out of those, that was a Dratini, so potentially a pink noodle, out of all of those, I mean, Poliwag had a community day in June, July? Is it July last year? I think. So that's kind of meh. Uh, Volpix, PvP, if you need the resources, maybe. And Hippopotus, kind of neither here nor there. Maybe if you want some exiles for a shadow. I'm, I'm trying to really think out on a limb here. But the best out of the bunch is probably Snorun, because obviously you get the Mega Glalie as a potential which is great but either way we're going to whack down a few lucky eggs we're going to get a couple of roots in which is nice it's going to be quite a, a chill one we are going to catch everything as best we can uh bagon's going to be on my oh the european championship is going to be play, fun playing in london i will just say bear in mind playing in the xl center from experience there is ter terrible gps drift in there terrible terrible gps drift not the pink noodle, but th oh, 328 is pretty dead as well, actually. You want 374, I think, or something along those lines. So let's get that caught. Um, there's no point checking the stats of all four Pokemon because, you know, I'm not going to remember all of the encounter numbers and Excel candies, etc. What we are going to do is Mega or Primal revert our Groudon. That's, yeah, as I suspect, it was pretty dead. Um, we're going to get a Grand Fat. It's actually at the top of the list there. Let's get a Groudon that's uh, free because this will boost the candy catches for Volpix and for Hippopotas, you know. And why not hit two out of the four with that typing? Cyberpal, welcome into the stream. Good to have you with us. Hope you're having a good day. It is yet to begin. Two minutes till um, event time, but we all drop a couple of lucky eggs because we are kind of, kind of well situated on. So we'll pop those down. Come the uh, right time, we're going to be popping down the incense, of course and seeing if we get anything tonight, if we get anything at all. I guess the only thing to do is to check the uh, total catches, 540,135. Maybe we can make an indent on that tonight. Actually, since we're here, these aren't gonna go into a video at all, but we'll showcase the most recent catches and stuff. So. The Go++ Plus Plus got me almost back-to-back -back shiny cast forms last night while I was driving around. So back-to-back -back cast, pretty much back-to-back, -back, within three checks, two shiny cast forms. And we hatched out of a two-kilometer egg a shiny Lechonk yesterday. Of course, the crazy RNG comes through when I'm not filming or vlog, like, live-streaming or anything for the channel. So <laughs> we had a pretty good day yesterday, which was nice, aside from painting up a bathroom and stuff like that. Captain Wes, welcome in. Lovely as you can see you join us. Hope you're good. And thank you for the shiny vibes, Mike. If you're heading out and about yourself, best of luck as well. There are plenty of people who may not have XYZ shinies. Um, Hippopotus, if you may remember Sinotaur, we managed to catch a Shnundo 
hippo over in LA, which is kind of jokes. Six o'clock, there we go. That now is the time to play. And we're gonna go incense, and it seems to be a blizzard of hippos, which is no bad thing. So we are just gonna quick catch anything and everything and see how we do. Thank you, Lana Jam, good to see you. Thanks for the shiny luck. Let's find out if that's gonna ring true. The pink pig is crazy. Absolutely, Jasmine, I was very surprised. I thought I'd go plus plus it, and I checked. Uh, and then the egg animation popped up and it was a hatch. And I was like, I never had shinies. Certainly off from random egg tiers. So a random two kilometer egg shiny hatch was bonkers. I think that's like my fifth lechonk, maybe, something along those lines. Molly hoping for the shiny hippo today. My fingers are crossed for you. Best of luck, Molly. You need a certain, we've got no weather boost for any of them, so it's just going to be whatever happens to come our way. But I won't, I won't say no to any of the shinies, because they're all... I mean, poly, Polywag's probably the worst. Probably the worst one of the bunch, but... Anything is good. Any sparkles are good sparkles, you know that. And if we spot an interesting ray, we may jump into it and do it. <laughs> Uh, while we're at it, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna do the golden lure loop. See the nearby routes. We're gonna do that. Reverse the direction. And follow that. There we go. Let's get some zygarde cells. Why not? It's about the only time I do routes. Because <laughs> it's daylight at least. It will be enough to do a couple of laps of the of the park, but not quite yet. Come April with the spoil hours in April, whatever they're going to be, they'll be all in the park, which is great. Even better for the grind, for the shiny grind. We've got more spawns and everything like that, but at least we're able to venture into the park, do some routes this way, rather than scoping the streets for a little bit, which is nice. Kirsty, I love Poliwag. Well, good luck to you if you can nab the shiny. Or a good one. I mean, Poly Wrath and Poly Toad obviously had a Com Day exclusive move, and they all have decent moves. They're somewhat good in PvP, and there is the shadow in existence as well, so everything has a purpose. All four of these have a kind of purpose to grind for, if you so wish. Charlie Todd, hey, welcome in. Good to see you. Are you hunting anyone in particular? Honestly, no. None, none of them in particular. I've got all the shiny families done and dusted. We're just going to see if anything decides to sparkle today. Any sparkles are good sparkles by my book. I even got the uh, the hippo families done, I think, from the uh, the Sino tour in LA. I managed to complete that. There we go. Route has started. If we could get off the screen, that'd be really good. Stupid thing. <laughs> uh, I'm not raiding Reg Ice tonight. Tomorrow's Reg Ice raid hour, anyway. So. That'll be the time. I've seen, I mean, obviously it's, it's mostly for Primal Ground, but there was a lot of interest on that uh, Kyogre Raid Day video. Thank you everybody who's dropped a comment on it. I'll be going over them tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning I'll be going through them and sending those friend requests out ahead of Raid Out and the Groudon thing. And I need to see if um, there are certain people who wanted to do both or if certain people are only wanting Groudon because I'll make sure there's like two tags that we can do, <laughs> basically. Thank you, Francesco. Heading to sleep, headaches. Oh, the weather's hitting you again, is it, dude? Rest up, stay in the dark, and hopefully your headache disappears. Not fun. Kirsty, thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Alice, did you get a shiny? I'm new on the on the line. Well, welcome since you're new. Uh, no, spot hour has only been going for four minutes and the key thing with the spot hour, anybody who's maybe newer to the game might have had a chance to play Litton Community Day. Community Days and Community Day Classics have a massively boosted shiny odds. So your likelihood is a one in 25, whereas the spot hours are merely boosted encounters. So you have boosted Pokemon spawns, but you don't have a boosted shiny rate. So all of these are a 1 in 500 chance. So the chance of getting one of these on a spot hour is actually very slim. <laughs> Unless you have some good RNG. Mm. 
and we'll see. Mr. Moose Man, welcome into the stream. Sarah Luff, doing homework while listening to you. Hopefully it's not too distracting. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, Charlie Todd, Miley, when it comes to Saturday, are you wanting invites? Um, I'm going to say, I know I'm grinding hardcore for it, but I'm going to say just uh, no, because UK folks, it's a shame, but we're going to be raiding locally as well. So I won't be able to jump in any of your invites, which is a, sh a shame. So ping the invite you would have sent me to somebody who's in a different region of the world. That's the only bad thing about the raid day overlap is obviously if you're inviting. I mean, we're not struggling for raids and numbers over here, but it'd be fun to jump in. That's a funky dramper. Very tempting, but we're going to say no. But I appreciate the offer, Charlie Todd, as always, mate. Really do. Why a full different Pokemon today? I suspect it's something, it's like a hangover from the weather week. You know, the weather week, and they've got one for all of the elements, really. You've got fire, water, ice, and ground. Win two raids, that'd be fun. I want to see some Zygarde cell action, to be honest. Okay, now, interesting dispersion of spawns, that's got to be true. Plenty of Vulpix on this side. Oh, there's a massive Vulpix. If only it was shiny. A shiny, huge thing would have been fun. Is the new background regional or account specific? Uh, it is sort of regional at the moment so here in the UK we've got it and a few other places have it it was originally beta tested somewhere I think when we found it it was in Chula Vista kind of near the Mexican border I'm not entirely sure where it is actually released because they they put out an article stating they've released it to a few more areas but they didn't actually specify where classic Niantic of not giving details But it is double catch XP for this Swallow Hour, which is no bad thing. Jay, welcome into the stream. Thanks for joining. Pokey Rats, I guess I'll be seeing you in New York then. Can't make Madrid. So almost identical to me. I can't make I can't make Madrid a go fest, unfortunately, due to prior commitments. And they're not commitments I can easily get out of. <laughs> so New York it is for us. Okay, get stuffed polywag. <laughs> what do we think about Baggin? Baggin Community Day Classic is one of the two most requested, I would say. It was Bagon and Beldum, really. Beldum, I think, should have got one earlier, but I have a suspicion that that might be the summer season's Com Day Classic. Bagon coming out now, like very beginning of April, is actually a seriously good play because Shadow Bagon has just been in the Shadow Shiny Raid ro or Rocket rotation and it's going to cycle out of that at the very end of March on the 27th. So actually having Bagon Community Day Classic... Oh, oh here's Shiny Polywag off Incense. I looked and I thought, That's, the shading's a little bit different. Nice, we have actually bagged a Shiny. Check it out. I think the last one we actually got Polywag-wise might have been London Go Fest. Let's go, people. Come on. We're going to blue ball it because it is a blue shiny. With the shaders and everything, that actually looks so sick. And I was like, I'm sure that's a different colour. Let's go. Let's see. Incense. I mean, we're recording the Incense podcast tonight, episode 163. It's a dead two star, but I do want to note the encounter number. You know me, I like my encounter numbers. Uh, 2991. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for the congrats. I appreciate it. I really do. I wasn't expecting to pick up any shinies tonight. I have to be honest. Goodness me. Andrew Rudd. Hello. Welcome in. Just reached level 43 today. Congrats on the level up. Well done. So which one have you got now? Have you got the um, PvP level? The uh, requirements? GBL? All different tiers? There is a cheeky, a cheeky way around that, which I did, you know. 
Um, oh, there's a Zygod still there. Oh, fantastic. Let's go. And um, what else? Oh, I did see Flu, so I didn't reply in the chat yet. But Mcfloof, I think, leveled up to 48 today as well. Congratulations. There is Mateo. Let's see what Mateo's got for us. Possibly nothing of consequence, but... Can I select another gift? I'll be nice and select a different gift. From the bandstand. There we go. Add a sticker. Oh my goodness. Recents. Come on, it's got to be a lit and sticker. Let's send it and see where in the world that is going to be posted off to. Leonardo, good to see you. Welcome into the stream. We've got something from Portugal. Hey, snazzy. That's quite a funny little post box. We'll keep that in there. And just some dusts, etc. That's okay. But we can now complete the route and just start another one. We'll start another, a proper loop of wall pot now. Leveled up last night. So you're on to the um, penultimate selection of challenges now, aren't you? Are you on the lucky trade challenge, I think, now? To get to level 49. Nice shiny, brother. Thank you very much, Bert. Hey, good to see you. How are you doing today? Nearby routes, we're going intermediate loop. And we're going that a direction. Roots on. Can Jarkadet be shiny? No, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. It cannot be shiny yet. And to be honest, that's no bad thing because having looked at Jarkadet shiny, it is terrible. As well as Armor Rouge and Suraledge. The whole family of it is, is terrible shiny wise. They only changed the colour of the iris. <laughs> I don't know why they made it such a bad shiny. I feel like they could have swapped the colour palettes, made shiny Suraledge. Suraledge look like Armor Rouge and then Armor Rouge shiny could have been like Suraledge. That would have been fun, but hey. Right, well we've ticked off Poliwag from the shinies of potential tonight, which is very nice indeed. Actually, what am I doing? I need to... Let me pop in this first because we're walking around. It'd be stupid not to get some candies. Jovka, welcome into the stream. Ceru oh, Cerulege is supposed to be cerulean coloured. Okay. Maybe they could have made it blue. Rather than... It's purple at the moment. They could have made it blue. And then Armour Rouge could have been... Mm, they could have either lent more towards a yellow or a pink, perhaps. All right. Back on the grand... It is, yes, it's the 50 lucky trades and 35 platinum medals for the, to level up to 49. You got this. My floofy, you got this. How many, plat have you done the platinum medals? Are you, um, have you still got some to try and claim? Because there are some that are more easily completable than others, just as another large Vulpix. Shame you aren't shiny, bruh. Charlie Lucy, hey, lovely to see you. Good evening, welcome in. What are you going to be? Don't bother all that. That is a Hoenn starter. The only problem with the Hoenn starter is you don't know which bloody one you're going to get. So we're going to chuck in a Mewtwo, a Primal Groudon, and then we'll chuck in a Namorous just for the sake of it, even though we don't need body hearts, but hey, let's do it. Need one, plat one more Platinum for Andrew. Oh, it's a Trico. It's a Shadow Trico, my favourite. Shame it can't be Shadow Shiny yet. Actually, come on. So we've got... We're going to talk about it on the podcast tonight. But the uh, Shadow Shinies are rotating. So what do we think the leaders are going to get? Remember, the leaders usually get one, like, recycled old one. And then two new ones. What do we think is going to be coming out? Because I think we could very well see... Shadow Shiny Beldum come back. Defo One is getting drowsy. Poké Rats, I think you're on the money with that one because, but it wouldn't be a leader. I think Shadow Shiny Drowsy is going to go into the Psychic type grunts because it's going to be a one star Shadow Raid boss. That's just my my thinking on that one. You may actually be correct, who knows? Come on, Namorous, we haven't ever used you in battle yet.
Crispy Chris, my dad revealed we we're going to Madrid for GoFest. Oh, sweet. And that is a very nice surprise. Fantastic. You all enjoy, honestly, any live event is exceptionally good fun. So, Crispy Chris, enjoy. Is it going to be your first in person GoFest event? Unfortunately, I can't make Madrid first, but Ian and Mark will be there. Ian and Mark are going to be there. Francesca will be there. It's a giant shadow Trico with 206 CP. Fantastic. It's a very large gecko. Come to me. <laughs> Mark H, good to see you. And uh, Toast, no. I won't, I won't follow up with the whatever, but welcome into the stream. <laughs> when is the new Giovanni coming? It's the 27th of March. So I'm going to keep the giant Trico. Why not? Let's keep the giant Trico. Yeah, 27th of March, so it's actually next Wednesday. It's not this Wednesday. Tomorrow will be the one after. That's when it cycles on through, and it will be midnight, I think, is when the event properly switches over. But there's new Shadow Pokemon coming into the game, which is great. Shadow Daramaka is going to be a hell of a glass cannon for raids. Very excited for that one and seeing what else is going to be available. I'm hoping Shadow Shiny Magnemite potentially comes back, which would be really nice. And I'm kind of hoping, I'd love to see Shadow Shiny Ralts. Because it's overdue. Ralts has been in the Shadow Grunts for years at this point. And if they put Shadow Shiny Ralts out there, that would be insane. Did London last year, since then my dad was just as hooked on Pokemon Go as me. Fantastic. Well, it's an excuse to travel places with your dad then. That's a rather snazzy hobby to have together. Now, a few more places have had this uh, graphic update for the backdrops and the map. So the UK is involved in that now. Um, I think Mexico or a certain area around Mexico has got it as well because we first experienced this in February when we went down to Chula Vista just after um, Sinotaur LA and that's where we first saw this background update and then a couple of days ago or about a week ago actually it arrived in the UK which is great I'm very much enjoying it it's, it's a really nice visual update do we catch any shiny yet? Yes, we have had a shiny polywag tonight off of incense, which is very unexpected. But any shiny is a good shiny. Silo. The uh, Shahundo Ralt will be a beast once frustration is removed. Absolutely. And also, don't forget, you'll be able to TM frustration off of everything as well. I need to remember to do that on my right coast. <laughs> That's for sure. Looking forward to the avatar update. That is another quality of life that's coming up. They're finally allowing more character avatar customization, which is long overdue. Long, long, long overdue, to be honest, in the game. Try restarting the YouTube link if the quality is rough, but if the quality is a bit meh, it's because we're live streaming through mobile signal and some places are patchy, unfortunately, so we're we're lumped with whatever O2 decides to fling our way and there's not much I can do on my side. In fact, there's nothing I can do on my side. <laughs> Research encounters are broken since the update. Yeah, I've had a bit of that as well, Molly. It's quite irritating. It sort of freezes, glitches and goes into the stack. And, and then you might be able to get it out of the stack or might not. It is quite infuriating, I agree. <laughs> Vulpux. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to wonder which one we haven't had shiny for the longest time. Thinking back, we definitely had shiny Volpix over Halloween, which was obviously back in October. Snorun, I think we had shinies for the Crowgonal Research Day. So that was more Christmas time. So I think Volpix is probably the more likely to be shiny. Which spot hour is it? There's four Pokemon spawning in tonight's spot hour. There's Volpix, Poliwag, Hippopotas, as you can see, and Snorun. So there's four to chase and it's a uh, double catch xp as well so 
if you're not out and about catching stuff and you need XP, definitely go. Go, go, go. And don't forget, spot hour is 6 to 7 p.m. your local time. So here in the UK, it's 20 past 6. Dez, welcome into the stream. Come on. I don't think we... The hippo, the hippo shiny, apart from obviously the polywag just now, is the most recent out of the bunch. Because we got a shiny one of those, or a couple of them, over Sinotaur, so... Uh, I will do, Andrew. I shall do. Once I'm back. <laughs> got this, then got podcast recording. Really want shiny bag on. Well, your day is coming up, Des, because the 7th of April, which is a couple of Sundays away, three Sundays away, is bag on Community Day Classic. It's very likely to be 2 to 5 p.m. your local time on that Sunday. And uh, it's a good one to grind for. Not only have we got shadows and things like that, it's a shadow shi shiny potential Pokemon at the moment. That will be changing on the 27th of March. But... The Shadow Salamance is really, really usable. I think like the second best dragon type overall, second or third. And obviously regular Salamance, it has a Mega. So you've got to get a good IV one and go for it. So this is honestly a sick Community Day Classic choice. Really, really good. But people, you do need the Community Day Classic move. You need the Condé move on Salamance, which is outrage to actually make it better. Because otherwise it's lumped with Draco Meteor, which isn't anywhere near as good as dealing damage. I think. Ooh, a wild shiny king pops into the stream. JT, mate, lovely to see you. How are you doing? How have you been keeping? Give a warm welcome to JT Valor, people. Popping in to see if I'm nicking his shinies. We've had a shiny, anybody who's asking, a couple of people, we have had a shiny polywag tonight off of incense, which is a decent pull, very unexpected. If anything else sparkles, it'd be jolly good. Ail <laughs> Shakay, do I keep my shadow bag on or purify it for a hundo? Not sure which to do. What are the stats on it? What are you what are its IVs? Because if it's purifiable to a hundo, I'd say it's almost better to keep it as a shadow got to be honest because shadow salamance is seriously good chilling chilling still getting over the jet lag yes because my man went over to <laughs> did all the events bro i'm not jealous at all they look like i looked honestly like fantastic couple of weeks traveling around apac which is amazing jealous jealous of that travel i would have loved to have gone to um Bali for the air adventures kind of thing. Sadly couldn't make it happen. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen shadow. Definitely keep that as a shadow. If it's fifteen attack. TM frustration off of that thing, keep it as a shadow, get it to a Salamance, max it level 50 once we've had the Com Day and you've got the XL Candy, etc. That is a seriously good shadow. That's a 93% shadow, I think. Because the thing is, on the community day, you have the Pokestop research tasks that will give encounters with Bagon. So you might very well pull in a Hundo, or if you do the trades afterwards, do 100 trades with the Bagons, etc. You very well might get a hundo regular bag on that way. Um, so save your shadow purification, which is great. Which of the GoFests are we going to? JT, I'm unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but I'm only going to be able to make it to New York. So I guess I'll see you there. I assume you're doing all of them. <laughs> are you heading over to Sendai? Which I would have loved to have gone to, but it's just, it's too soon. It's too soon on the notifications, you know? Yeah, I'll definitely be out in New York revisiting Randall's Island. How many 
shiny shiny it's just the one shiny tonight so far which is a polywag and welcome there's a lot of fresh people in the stream welcome in thank you for checking out the channel and the stream lol yeah all booked man the slow mode is rough unfortunately it's necessary <laughs> putting uh putting mobile streams into the shorts on youtube is uh a wild game, that is for sure. Yeah, I wish I could be doing Japan. Sendai is a beautiful, beautiful city. Unfortunately, prior commitments, so Madrid is off the table as well. Just New York, but I'll see you out there, JT, for sure. And that's when we'll do lucky trade, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 this is a mobile live stream. This is what YouTube do at the moment. They, if you have a mobile live stream or vertical formatted stream, they chuck it into the shorts feed. I wonder if we're going to find anything else. Vulpix shiny, hippo shiny, perhaps even a snoron shiny. Three hundred of you here tuned in. Hey, thank you very much. I know people might be flicking on through, but hit that like button on the stream if you can do. Be much appreciated. Ooh. Thanks. There we go. Enamorous doing the header. Fantastic. Living the shiny dreams <laughs> through me. Well, thanks for checking out the stream. It's good to have you back, uh, Joolo, I think it is. Let's see if we can get some more sparkles because we incensed the shiny pretty early on in the stream, actually. We can get some more RNG on this one, that'd be great. Let's chuck those. I always chuck the eggs into Inky Bays, since I'm walking around, I might as well, you know. My best Pokemon. My best Pokemon, theoretically, would be my 100% or, I've got two of them, 200% IV Mewtwo's. So. Uh, but I have also probably the best like attacker would be my Shadow 96 Mewtwo. I think somebody asking about your favorite shiny Pokemon. Favorite shiny Pokemon for me is still Trico. Trico is my favorite Pokemon. It also, I love the shiny of it. I'm a big fan of a blue shiny, so that almost chromed <laughs> chrome look Trico is great. Starlight Muser, hey, lovely to see you. It has been a very, very long time. We're doing all good here. How have you been? I hope all is well. Come on, let's get the polywag core. Please. Are you done with the Trico build? Bro, I haven't even opened the box, I'm afraid. I want to save it and do it as a little video, but I just haven't had time to sit down. There's always something to do. If it's nothing, if it's not to do with the channel and Discord and behind the scenes, it's stuff to do with house renovations and flat renovations, that sort of thing. Or family. What's the spoil hour? Can we explain? Absolutely. So I don't know quite why. I think it's something like a weather week kind of focused spoil hour. But there's four different Pokemon that are appearing in this one. So Hippopotus, Vulpix, Poliwag, and Snorunt are all appearing tonight for an hour. With the boosted encounter rate, but not a boosted shiny rate. That's the key thing. They are regular 1 in 500 odds for these. Moth is inviting us to a Drampa. It's very tempting, but... Not while we're on the grind. Pedro, good to see you pop in in the stream. How have you been this week? How was your uh, Kyogre session? And 
community day. Ooh, phone brightness has suddenly taken a dive. <laughs> I can barely see it. There's a new cat screen showing the, the phone. Eh? We've got the um, updated graphics here in the UK. The updated encounter screen and map, which is really nice. It looks fantastic. You're a Motta's Dram Parade, are you? Best of luck, Sue. I shan't pop in and steal it. MT Furs, hey, swinging on through. Good to see you. How are you? Don't need the shiny charm tonight. We've already had the shiny um, polywag. Yes, there's the Zygote cell. Fantastic. Oh my goodness me. It's going, going crazy chat wise. Two very dead five kilometer rakes. Pedro still didn't get a Honda Kyoga. Only 98. I have to trade, dude. Trading for it. That's how I got mine. Honestly, I'm probably in the same boat as you. Over the years, I've had, I think, maybe 15 or 16 98% Kyogas. No Hundo, and then traded the shiny and got the Shlundo of it. So hopefully you can have that kind of luck with it. <laughs> right, that's that done. So it's getting a bit dark in here. Now we're going to venture to the streets. Grumbo, welcome into the stream. Gonzalo, welcome in. If I missed anything else, Alberts, welcome into the stream. I hope everyone's doing good. We're chasing down any shiny we can do and see. It's, it's double catch XP and we've got lucky eggs down, so why the hell not? Any shiny is a good shiny, you know that? BST starts next week. Yes, it ticks over on the 31st, doesn't it? Is it the 31st of March? So, we'll lose an hour of sleep over the course of Mewtwo or Easter weekend, depending on how you view it. I'm looking at it as a Mewtwo raid weekend. Yeah, bring on those uh, those sunny hours because I'm very I'm very tired of doing spotlight hour in the dark. Vanessa, welcome into the stream. Trampum number one hundred and twenty-four, still no shiny. Ouch! 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 You're over double the ratio, I think now, nearly. It gets 128, you'll double the odds, Sue. <laughs> Big L. That's how it goes sometimes, unfortunately. They have those perma-boosted things in raids, but... If your own RNG is not inside for a certain mon, I remember there was something I couldn't get for the life of me that was a perma boosted shiny back in the day. Never got it. Can't remember what it was, it's so long ago. I think it was a raid, was it a raid thing? I think it might have been the original Johto Sneasel. I just couldn't get that shiny for the life of me, even though it was perma boosted and then eventually got it. Right, well, since we've got 25 minutes left to go, I'm going to have a little wander down the main road with some lighting. So, I'm not going to fall for the same trick as we did before. I'm going to make sure that route actually starts. Follow the path, there we go. Now we can move. Uh, 
Uh, two things, I don't have the Go Plus Plus connected to this phone and I don't like to auto catch Pokemon really, particularly if there's something to grind for. So yeah, we're quick catching absolutely everything tonight. That's the plan. That's why I'm not also spinning stops because it's synced with my iPhone, which I use every single day. I use this, I, this phone that we're live streaming on is a Samsung Fold 3. That's the only thing we use it for is these live streams. Oh, huge shiny Vulpix, come on, off of incense. Did I call that? I thought, I did say we were going to get the Vulpix next, or it was most likely to get the Vulpix shiny. Come on, second shiny of the stream, let's go. I think just as MT Furs said, activate shiny charm. That worked splendidly well. It's a huge shiny Vulpix. Nice. Come on. Absolutely epic win for the day. Nice. Absolutely, JT. It's, it's not the largest Vulpix we've ever seen, but it's the one star, but mass is a large fox, which I guess is quite appropriate here for urban London. You know, you get urban foxes breaking into your garden all the time. 39.84 on the encounters. I seem to remember the last time we got that was actually the 24 hour challenge for uh, the Halloween part two event. See all Vulpix. If we go recent, Back on these catches, let's have a look see. Yeah, we got the costume one. It was the 28th of October last year. That was our last shiny Vulpix, so there we go. Very cool indeed. So by that standing, we should be looking to get Hollywag next. That's a definite bag, a definite win. Thank you, Peep, for the congrats. Everybody, appreciate you. Yeah, I'm based in London. Seems to be a lot of people asking that. I'm based in London, the United Kingdom. MC First, thank you for that shiny look, by the way. That, that was almost to the next encounter that you call that correctly. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, Jordan. What's your point? I'm not sure I understand what you've written. Honestly, in the past of this week's radar, I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm going to say this now because obviously you know, content creator. We are going to be live streaming Red Ice Raid out tomorrow. Um, and there might only be a handful of people interested on it, but that's okay, because Red Ice is terrible in Pokemon Go, just flat out rubbish. And Primal Groudon's Raid Day is this Saturday, so I'm sure a lot of you will be saving coins and passes for that instead. <laughs> I cannot blame anyone. Four Pokemon instead of one. To be honest, I give this a thumbs up because as long as there's a theme, like themed spot hours, or like we had a themed um, research day, I think they're a decent spook, like spice up the whole style of the event. Because otherwise, we're going to end up. I mean, I know there are certain Pokemon that I think have had two or three spot hours in the course of the event's existence. And you're just saying there's other things they could do with them, <laughs> you know. Unfortunately, I, th I think um, next week is a bit dead because it's a uh, hopip. It's hopip spot out with catch candy bonus. So, yeah. what do you mean, bot? I don't know where you've got bot from. I'm walking along physically and catching myself. I'm doing this all legit. Look. saving all passes for Groudon. If I wasn't a content creator, I would be doing the same. <laughs> I wouldn't be raiding for Regice Raid Hour. 
Although I do have a hundo, I need to see how many XLs I need for Reg Ice because I had a hundo of it back in 2019. I don't think definitely dropped down on the signal. Okay, noted. This is a dead spot for phone surface or O2 specifically. Okay. It's Kevin in stream. Kevin, good to see you. Welcome in. Sandra, quick catch. Quick catch is um, could be simple once you sort of know how to do it. So there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that talk about it. Um, Pokedaxi's definitely done one. The trainer club's done one. I did one when I was doing vlogs for Spot Hour back in the day, but I'll quickly give you a rundown of how it's done. So when you encounter the Pokemon, this is off the route actually, um, instead of just throwing the Pokeball regularly, press and hold and drag on the Pokeball selector or on the berry selector. So press, hold and drag, and then you can throw your Pokeball with another hand. Once you've hit the Pokemon, you can let go of the selector, it will bring up the menu of it, Deselect it, it brings up the whole menu so you can then hit the run button when you're in the encounter. And basically, the quicker you do that, it means so long as you land the ball on the Pokemon, you can see sometimes they don't catch, but they usually will. That basically means you don't have to watch the Pokemon roll three times in the Pokemon and say, Wow, you caught a, a hippo. You can just do this and it runs super quick. It's even quicker when you would have bloody appear. It was just there. There we go. Fantastic. So three Zygarde cells. It might seem a little bit counterintuitive to start with, but what I will do is I'm going to quickly pop AR mode on to, um, okay, if it would actually let me interact with the game at all. What's going on here? Come on. Daft thing. So, once you're in AR mode, it won't work because obviously I've got camera off, but you can actually throw the Pokeball even quicker and you don't have to watch it say a while whatever appeared. So you can literally just throw and throw and throw. This is the quickest catch method you could do. AR mode on and quick catch technique itself. You skip the whole intro of the encounter and the whole outro of the encounter. And that, honestly, is how you can go from catching a couple of Pokemon a minute to catching, you know, you can catch eight times faster doing this format. So I definitely recommend it. And uh, if you can get it nailed down, it takes some practice, that's what I'm going to say. Just practice it over some events, you know. When's the background coming? I have no idea. I wasn't expecting it to come to the UK either, to be honest. It just suddenly dropped it on us about a week ago. Uh, I think Niantic put out a blog post talking about these updates and saying they're available in selected regions, but they didn't actually specify which regions they're going to be in. So, no clue, unfortunately. Can't help you on that one. My favourite Shioni is Sceptile. Good choice, Des. My favourite Shioni is Trico, but the whole family of uh, Shinies is rather good. Do like a blue Shiny. <laughs> Got a better idea ultra shiny charm well let's see shall we theoretically it should be snorunt up next as a shiny i have a feeling that the stream chat died on me just refresh it why not why have we incensed eradicate that's just dead <laughs> Mateus, we have caught two shinies tonight, amazingly. Really wasn't expecting to get two shinies. We incensed in a Poliwag shiny, and we also incensed in a shiny huge Vulpix. So we've done very well, very well tonight. Stream's acting up. Well, we are unfortunately on 4G, which we shouldn't be, because I asked for 5G from O2. And the signal's a bit patchy, so you've got to bear with. Unless someone wants to ring up O2 customer service and send them a link to my stream and complain, I can't do very much on my side, which is a shame. But that's what happens when you're live streaming on the mobile network and you're out and about in London or any city. Trust me, Oxford was so bad. 
My forever abiding memory of Oxford is the poor phone reception. Not just for O2 on the live stream, which was catastrophic in various places, but EE was terrible. I couldn't log on to the game for like 20 minutes after the stream. I was getting very annoyed, so I shan't be revisiting Oxford any... Jesus. Apologies. Phone reception is not something I can change myself, unfortunately. Watch the Oxford stream after stream it looked very rough. It was, it was very rough indeed, and I was not a happy person <laughs> after that. No, I really wasn't. There are always dead spots. Oh, there's a wild Gyarados at the side of the road. Nice. Carbink, you are dead. And, ooh, Larvesta from a 10k rather spicy nice let's check the stats on all of them because we're going to transfer everything except the larvesta which is oh we've got a 10 10 10 car bink wonderful in the bin you go fabulous red gyarados that's quite a nice rare spawn just quick catch it because we can <laughs> snorunt come on be blue with the red eyes that would be rather juicy if we could get that Or do we think we're going to get another Vulpix? Or are we going to get the Hippo? What do we think, people? But I hope a lot of people always ask about this background, which is correct, because it looks so different from the, the old regular cat screen. I hope that this gets rolled out, because from my side, there hasn't been any major problems with it. I know they've been beta testing it for like a month and a half or two months. Um, but from my side, it's been very smooth sailing. As long as you download all the assets in-game and perhaps refresh your game data, you're all good. It runs very, very smoothly. And um, it just looks amazing. It looked really good on Listen Com Day with various different backgrounds for shinies and stuff like that. Right. 12 minutes to go. I reckon we can nip up that way and see if anything is the sparkle. Hippo is one of the ones that doesn't want to sparkle for me. Even from um, Sinotaur. See you though. To be fair to you, there's always that one Pokemon that's just a bastard until eventually it decides to sparkle. For me, it was Dunsparce. I definitely say Dunsparce gave me the biggest runaround ever. Couldn't get it at Johto Tour, even though it was part of my ticketed shiny boost. All subsequent events didn't get it. Couldn't get it on research tasks or anything like that. Spotlight hours, etc. And then it decided to shine finally in Barcelona City Safari last year. So it took years and years to get it. Fancy Funk, welcome in. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Hopefully, keep you around. Enjoy the content that's up on the channel. It's going to be quite a good busy week, I'd say, because we've got Reg Ice Raid Hour tomorrow. That's going to be a chilled Raid Hour stream, I will be honest. Uh, Thursday is the Verdant Wonders event. I want to be out grinding for that. We've got uh, the Zeru ticket, which we've got to do which is amazing. Thanks again to Andrew for gifting it to me. So we know what it's going to be named, but what IVs is going to be. I hope it's a damn sight better than my other one, which was like 78%. Um, we've got the brand new costume cotton eater shiny hunt, which is amazing. Flower crown cottony, plus shiny flip bay bay to chase. Oh my goodness. That's a regional chase. So you've got to get the red ones. You've got to get three of each to complete your own shiny families, which is just bonkers. But at least with flip bay the shiny family gets better the further up the evolution chain you go. Because shiny Florges, there's more purple on it. Only Flabebe has a really bad shiny. 
Um, but trust me, I, I want to see the uh, the shiny of that. I'll be out grinding Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, hopefully. Can't wait for the Mewtwo raids. Yeah, that's next weekend. Oh, okay, we're finally walking off all our eggs. Seven kilometer eggs. That's such a dead hatch. <laughs> Two very dead hatches. Yellow shiny for the baby will be boosted in New York. I think the orange one is boosted somewhere else as well. I don't even care if that Geodude's a Hundo, I've got to be honest. <laughs> Throw it away. But I would quite like to see... I think the white Flabebe with the purple would look the best. I think. No, we've got nine minutes left to spot our people. Are we going to pull in anything else sparkly? Mole, welcome into the stream. And we're shiny hunting four different Pokemon that are featured in tonight's Spot Hour. And, uh, well, we've had two of them. Two of them have sparkled tonight, which is amazing. Both have come off of an incense spawn, so perhaps that's the ones we need to check. Snorunt. Not, not shiny. Not the blue one. Empty first. No, we've uh, we've had no further shinies. We've just incensed the tiny hippo, which is just nothing but amazing. People checking out the stream. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to the shiny grind. This is called the quick catch method. And it's, uh, it's reasonably uncomplicated, which is nice. It's just, it, honestly, I'd recommend getting your hand in with the quick catch method because it just speeds up the catching that you can do. So you can pretty much triple the amount of catches you could get in a community today because you don't have to sit and watch it do the tick down with one roll two roll three roll well done you caught the pokemon come on snore there's plenty of you strongest shiny strongest shiny hmm probably my shundo kyoga i would say or actually, no, technically, in terms of DPS, it would be my Schlundo Rayquaza. Or Rayquaza. Rayquaza is what it's called. The Schlundo of that, mega, obviously, mega Schlundo Rayquaza, has got the best DPS. So that'll probably be mine. Uh, Gryphan, congrats on getting that shiny Cypher. All sparkles are good sparkles. And Cypher? Underappreciated shiny. Scizor gets a nice upgrade on the shiny front, but Cypher, you know, that more saturated green with the pink accents, is very nice indeed. Unless it's Hoppip. Well, we'll see tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, we'll see next week. <laughs> next Tuesday, Hoppip Spot Hour. Kind of hoping we don't get any of thing. <laughs> Hoppip's one of those Pokemon that just wouldn't stop sparkling for me. The fact that I got one randomly off of a, a lure in severe Safari Zone. Ridiculous. <laughs> when it wasn't even a Safari Zone spawn. How do you listen to the podcast? You can find it anywhere, any podcast platform of your choice, so Spotify, Apple Podcasts. It's even available on YouTube if, um, if you don't have one of those podcast platforms. I'm sure it's on Google Podcasts as well. Oh, Hippo, Shiny, come on. I was not expecting to get one of those. That, I don't know which gender this one is, actually. <laughs> I forget, but come on, that's the third Shiny of the stream. 
We've almost made it a complete collection of the four. Let's go. Shiny Hippopotus in the bag. That is fantastic. And that's one of the reasons I would like to see more Spolows that have a theme, you know? A few more Pokemon to choose from. Let's freaking go. Epic. So dead. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. 1,520. And it's the female. Might have to delete a few characters, which is okay. Very nice. Five minutes before the third shiny people of the stream. Epic. Very, very content with that one. And um, I guess it's Snorunt now. It's literally just Snorunt. If somehow we get that in the next four minutes, that would be kind of ridiculous. Yes, top tier gold patrons get the live studio recording every week. We do occasionally open it up to um, the rest of the Patreon, but it's um, reasonably infrequent. And there's usually, at the moment, there's way too many technical problems with the um, recordings to push it to everybody rather than just keeping a selected group. I would have said we'd do it for this week, but we don't know how Riverside's going to hold up. Last week for the podcast, we had to jump over for the majority of it to Zencaster. For goodness sake, we had to sign up to a completely different platform for a two-week trial to actually get the recording done. Three down, one to go. Yes, JT. Yeah. Although Snorunt seems to be the one that is spawning the least. I guess it would make sense, considering it's an ice type. Spot hour is always 6 to 7 p.m. your local time. Always, always 6 to 7 p.m. your local time. So for me, it's three minutes to seven in the evening. Canada, are you four or five hours behind? So give it four or five hours, and obviously it will tick over to 6 p.m., and that's when your spot hour will begin. Assuming you're East Coast, of course. If you're West Coast, um, quite a few more hours away. <laughs> beep, beep, welcome into the stream. Great to have you join us for the tail end. How is it going? Come on, blue Snorunt. Snorunt was one that actually took a fair amount of time to get a shiny for myself. We got one last, I think. It would have been the uh, Cryogonal Research Day. But clearly, RNG this week is good. The fact that we've Go Plus, two shiny cast forms yesterday, hatched a shiny Lechonk yesterday from a two kilometer egg, and bagged three shinies out of this spotlight hour. My hopes are quite high for uh, for that shiny cotton in shiny for the bebe. Best believe on Thursday I'm going to be out chasing those instantly. I'm going to be grinding that whole day. I'm going to make sure we get the podcast edited on Wednesday. <laughs> get it done and dusted for you all. Got a 98% shiny Kyogre on raid day. Ooh, so close to the Shundo. Very nice indeed. Big congrats. I do think somebody was telling me in our local group, and I, I forget, you. there is a list online that you can check, but Kyogre, I think, is a functional hundo. What, what's meant by that is basically that as long as the HP stat, when it boosts from 14 to 15 on the IV cells, another huge Vulpix, when it boosts up, it doesn't actually increase the amount of HP that the Pokemon has, it just appears to do so. So, I think Raikou is one off the top of my head. There's quite a few Pokemon that basically the difference between 14 and 15 HP on the IVs doesn't improve the Pokemon technically. So you may have yourself a functional hundo. It's about to tick over. I think that uh, shiny Snorunt is just a bit too far out of our reach. Just a little bit too far. That is seven o'clock. There we go. That is Spotlight Hour completed, people. Done and dusted. And uh, we can check how many Pokemon we caught entirely. Mm, just under 400, I think it was. Weevil. The best Pokemon in the game. Uh, so, shiny-wise, we did exceptionally well. I'm very impressed. I was not expecting to get all these different shinies tonight. Three of the four shinies 
actually insane. So the polywag was an incense spawn first up in the first sort of 10, 15 minutes. Then we also incensed a huge Vulpix shiny. And then just a few minutes ago, we got the hippo as well. Actually mental. Very, very crazy. Uh, decent amount of XP, uh, XL candy, because we had the Primal Ground on. So we got the XL boost for fire and ground types, which is great. And a little bit of Stardust gain too. No bad thing. Whew. So, now it's time for me to disappear off so I could go and get dinner and also get ready because we're recording the podcast tonight. Uh, we'll be dropping that this Sunday. We always release a new episode on Sunday, so do follow the podcast if you haven't done so already. And um, I was going to say, thanks very much for tuning in, people. It was a very, very good shiny grind tonight. Very, very good fun. Did we pick up any random hundos? That's the only other thing to check. Hundo? No, no hundo. And... I have a Nundo search string saved. No, 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 zero percent IV either. So, amazingly good spot hour. Uh, we'll be live streaming Red Eyes Raid Hour tomorrow, same time of day. So, come on by the channel if you would like to see that. And uh, we'll be vlogging the Verdant Wonders. So, main video coming up Thursday evening. Very, very good event coming up this week. Zaru ticketed research to do new shiny costume and brand new shiny regional variants to go and chase. It's going to be amazing. So, Thanks, everybody. New subscribers, welcome in. And a big, big shout-out to the Mod Squad. Mod Squad, who are the real backbone of making these streams rock and roll smoothly. Thank you so much. And JT, lovely to see you popping in the stream too, my dude. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm going to go and get some uh, chicken and rice. Do take care, peeps, if I can get the right button. There we go. See you all.